The film opens, as a man, named Adam Clay, tends to the bees, that he keeps in his place of living. He rents a space in a garage, owned by a retired school teacher, named Eloise Parker. While they both live alone, the two are friendly with one another, and Clay acknowledges Eloise as the only person, who ever really took care of him. Eloise goes on her computer, which is hit by a virus warning. She calls the number on the phone, which links her to a call center, operated by a phishing scam operation, called, United Data Group. The head of the center, named Mickey Garnett, gathers his team of goons to listen in, as he talks to Eloise. He tricks her into installing a supposed antivirus software, which links to all of her accounts, worth over $2 million, which are from the charities she runs, and they proceed to drain all of those accounts. Eloise realizes too late that, what has happened, and is left in despair, while the scammers gleefully celebrate their deception. Clay later goes to Eloise's house, after she already invited him over for dinner, and he brings her a jar of honey. He finds, the door open, and enters to investigate with a knife, before Eloise's daughter, who is an FBI agent, named Verona Parker, arrives, both of them finding Eloise dead, with a gunshot wound to her head, and a loaded pistol, and discharged bullet, lies on the floor. Believing, Clay murdered her mother, Verona has him arrested, but it is later concluded that, Eloise tragically committed suicide. Verona apologizes to Clay, and learns that, he was close with her mother before her death. Now, he goes to Beehive, and bring a communication device from Honey Plate, to contact his old organization, the Beekeepers, to get info on the people, who scammed Eloise. He is directed to the call center for UDG, where he beats up two guards outside, after they find him carrying two gas containers. Clay arrives at the call center, and viciously beats a goon senseless, to convince the other scammers that, he is not playing around, which gets them to evacuate. Garnet shows up, and tries to have security deal with Clay, but he wipes the floor with them, before dousing the place with gas, and then, linking a bomb to blow up the call center, if when, the next time someone responds to one of their scam ads. This happens not seconds later, and the place is blown to bits. The news spread, and Verona joins her partner, named Matt Wiley, to investigate the arson, while Garnet contacts his boss, whose name was Derek Danforth, of Danforth Enterprises, a security company, that runs the data mining scheme, that UDG worked for, to inform him of what Clay did. Derek has Garnet, and a team of his goons, to go out to Eloise's home, to track Clay down. They find him, and follow him into his garage, but Clay gets the drop on them, and kills the first goon, then he go to kill the second goon, and also he killed the third one, before finding Garnet, severing his fingers with a bandsaw, and then, throwing him into the back of a pickup truck. Clay drives the truck to a bridge, and straps Garnet to the wheel of another truck, while he is on the phone with Derek, who overhears everything, as Clay sends the truck with Garnet into the river. Clay then promises, to go after Derek next. Derek gets the company's chief of security, whose name is Wallace Westwild, to find out, who Clay is. After learning, he is a former beekeeper, Wallace realizes, they are in danger, and tells Derek, he just pissed off the wrong type of guy. Wallace contacts Derek's mother, POTUS Jessica Danforth, who begs Wallace to protect her son. He then calls CIA director, named Janet Howard, over Clay's involvement, and with her help, they contact the beekeepers themselves, to put out a bounty on Clay. Sometime later, Clay is at a gas station, when he is found by his current replacement beekeeper, named Anna Set Landers. She attempts to ram her car into Clay, before firing her gun at him. After he fights back, Anna Set gets out a huge machine gun, and unloads at Clay, but misses every shot. He throws a jar of honey at her, and then sets her on fire, killing her, and then, cutting off her index finger, and keeping it. Janet then informs Wallace of Anaset's death, and the beekeepers choose to remain neutral, as the situation unfolds. Meanwhile, Verona and Wiley, continue their investigation on the recent events, and Verona starts to piece together Clay's involvement. On the other hand, Wallace gathers a team of special forces guys, and explains to them the threat that, the beekeepers pose, as they are called in to rectify corrupt acts around the world. He warns them, what Clay may be up to, and dispatches them to go after him, should he come closer to their operations. Sure enough, Clay is seen using Anaset's finger, to enter a beekeeper base, and find the address for Nine Points Center, where Derek operates his call centers. He gears up, and heads out to take care of them. An FBI team gathers, after receiving funding from Deputy Director Prig, to head to the Nine Points building, but Wallace's team is already there. 
the head of the mercenary team, named Pettis, orders the call center employees, to evacuate in anticipation of Clay's arrival. Meanwhile, Clay beats up the FBI guys, before infiltrating the call center, and fighting Pettis's guys, and then, knocking out Pettis himself after a fight. After killing a bunch of guys in an elevator, Clay is pursued by Verona and Wiley, and also by their guys. Clay interrogates the manager of the center, by jamming staples into his hands, until he gives up Derek's identity. Verona tries to talk Clay out of his vendetta, but he is adamant in finishing the job. Verona and Wiley then find evidence of Derek, being the ringleader, after Clay leaves. After Wallace learns that, Clay got away again. He suggests to Derek that, he stay with his mother for protection, since, she is Secret Service taking care of her. Derek goes to Jessica's beachside mansion. Meanwhile, Verona and Wiley debrief with Prig, coming to the conclusion that, Clay is going after Jessica, as a Queenslayer, since, it is believed that, Jessica bankrolled her own campaign funding, by using stolen money. Prig gives them a blank check, to do whatever it takes to stop Clay. The FBI and other people, gather at the mansion, as a party goes on. Clay sneaks in, posing as Secret Service, before entering the mansion. Wallace and Derek, get ready with another team of mercs, plus a man, named Lazarus, who claims to have killed a beekeeper in the past, at the cost of his leg. While this goes on, Derek and Jessica sit in a room with Prig, who asks them about UDG. As it turns out, Derek had funded all of Jessica's campaign with the stolen money, and the revelation brings her guilt. Verona and Wiley, plus Lazarus, catch Clay outside, but he creates a distraction, by setting off a bomb. Clay fights off more goons, as he makes his way inside the mansion. When Prig learns the truth about Derek, he kills Prig, as they wait for Clay to show up. Now, Clay and Lazarus engage in a brutal fight, before Clay stabs him to death. Clay makes his way into Jessica and Derek's room, as she gets ready to confess to Derek's crimes. Verona and Wiley also enter, trying to stop Clay from killing Jessica. When Derek refuses to stand down, he prepares to execute his mother, but Clay fires a shot into Derek's head first, before jumping out the window. The Secret Service come to get Jessica out, while she wails at the sight of Derek's corpse. Verona almost considers bringing Clay in, but then allows him to escape, seeing as, how justice for her mother and other victims, has been served. As the other agents try to find Clay, he gets away, by finding hidden scuba gear, and swimming away. After Clay disappears, a single bee flies overhead. So guys, this recap is over, I hope you guys enjoyed this masterpiece, now please, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.